The Athletic uh, reporting that Aston Villa have made a 25 million pound offer for Emil Smith Rowe, while Real Madrid also like him yeah, supposedly of course. so much so that it could be a part of a swap for Martin Odegaard. I'm assuming it would be Smith Rowe plus money, but I don't know. Jules, I assume all of this has to do with his contract. It'll all go away when he extends. Yeah, of course, Gab. I'm not sure really even if there was an offer from Aston Villa, but you, if if there was, you have to applaud the confidence that they have and say, hey, we're a bigger club than Arsenal. We're going to go and get. They're one of, one of the two best players that they had this season in, in Smith Row. Um, well, if he also, doesn't extend his deal, 25 million for one last night. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's good. But more in the sense like, you know, he would rather play for Aston Villa than for Arsenal. You know, who, where, where well, is Aston the Villa best? won the European Cup. Exactly. What's the, the best project? At? Which one is the biggest club? You know, I think, I think that's great that they go and, and get. However, my point is once you've signed Buendia already, if you sign Smith Rowe, does that mean that you've already sold Jack Grealish? Ah, oh, you're trolling you, Villa fans. Are you on the way of, of selling Jack Grealish? You're trolling Villa fans. How can you play Trollery and Grealish and Smith Rowe and Buendia, uh, you know, behind Watkins and all of that? You're trolling I don't Villa know, fans. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Disrespecting them. Maybe G Arsenal G page uh, will, will buy Jack Grealish. How's that? I imagine. What about swap Smith Rowe and? <laughs> Gigi Buffon is expected to announce today, on Thursday, that he's rejoining Parma in Serie B all those years later after leaving. That's, it's beautiful. It's, it's nice. He's 43 years old. Um, you know, uh, Parma reaching out to him. By the way, great shout out from, uh, from our friend Kyle Krauss, who's, yeah. who's in charge, who owns Parma. Um, a lot of there's been a lot of criticism in the past. He's sticking around too much. He's trying to, you know, he could have gone to a bad Serie A team and accumulated his record. Um, I think it's great. He's going back there. Presumably, he's taking a massive pay cut. Yeah. I believe it's, I believe it's a, it's a one plus one deal that that he's signing. Forty three years old. We did see him this year. He you wasn't know. terrible when he played. He played quite a bit for Juve this year. Um, he obviously wasn't going to dislodge Chesney. Yeah, I think he can. He can contribute. You know what would be amazing? So he's one plus one. The first year they go back up, they get promotion to Serie A. He stays. Next year he plays with Parma in Serie A, so the following season, and then beats the record because he's only, what, 20 games away or something from yeah. the, the most uh, games ever in, in Serie A history. And then he does it with Parma, where he started with Parma, and then he breaks the record with Parma, not with Juve, with Parma. That would be awesome. Oh, wow. That would by be the awesome. way, he, he'd already have the record if... Juve hadn't been relegated on the back yeah. of Calciopoli, which sure. I think is someone... But, but I, I think he knows all this. I think yeah, he yeah, also yeah, comes yeah. to terms of like, he doesn't need a record. He has enough records. Yeah, he's, he's had so many. You're right. You're right. From a former Paris Saint-Germain keeper to a yeah. future Paris Saint-Germain keeper, Gigi Donnarumma is expected to have his medical early next week ahead of a five-year deal at the Parc de Prince. Jules, I've talked about this <laughs> enough. You have? I want to hear your thoughts. Ah... Uh, Okay, I, I'm all in to get great players. Are you, you know, in your in your in your football club, of course. And I can see why this is this could be a, a, a great coup because he's obviously out of contract. This is a free transfer, although as we know, not, nothing is free. And it was not planned for you to go for a keeper, but because it's such a good opportunity, you go and get him. And he's 22 years old, so the future is sorted. Especially when you've got Kelo Navas, who is 34, on the other hand. It becomes an issue for me if you bring Donnarumma, and I, I certainly don't expect Donnarumma to sign for PSG thinking I'm going to be a number two in Paris next season. That's not going to work. So what's the deal here? Is he going to go out on loan? And I guess I can take that. I'm assuming Lille need a goalkeeper now that Mike Magnana is gone. True. That's a good idea. <laughs> Otherwise, if, if he comes in and there's this kind of like weird competition between the two goalkeepers who we know doesn't work, we saw it with De Gea and Anderson this season, we saw it with at Barcelona all those years ago. I don't think he works. I think yeah. that could bring like ba bad atmosphere, tension within the squad, and I don't think Pochettino or PSG need that right now. So leave well, Keller as a number one, loan out Gigio, and then in, in a year or two years' time, Navas can, can, can leave, and then Gigio can become the number one. I wonder how Pochettino, you know, the manager who still hasn't extended his deal, but which we don't talk about anymore because Real Madrid have got their guy, I wonder how Pochettino feels about it. So I can tell you that Pochettino and Keiro Navas are really, really, really close. And I don't think Poch would appreciate Leonardo telling him, hey, Donnarumma is coming and you're going to put them two in competition and the best one is going to play. I don't think that would go down well. 
Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.